They are awaiting the rainy season in Haiti tonight. 1.3 million people still homeless, many in tents. Of course, the mud is about to begin, too. As today, finally, Haiti presented a long-term plan to international donor nations for rebuilding the devastated country. It has been two and a half months since the earthquake, and Dan Harris, who spent so much time in Haiti right after the quake, has been investigating what happened to all the millions Americans donated. We shall overcome. The celebrities we pleaded with us, overcome. the images compelled us, and we responded in overwhelming fashion. Since the killer quake in Haiti, Americans have given a staggering $800.9 million to the 23 charities that ABC News has been tracking. But only about 37% of that money has been spent. Nearly $588 million in our donations are still sitting on the sidelines as millions of Haitians continue to endure epic suffering. Americans have sent hundreds of millions of dollars to your group and to other groups. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of it hasn't been spent. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It's the, the need to spend it wisely. I don't want to look at the American public and say we wasted money by spending it too quickly. That's something we heard from so many of the charities we contacted. Spending too quickly, they say, would have created waste and robbed money from the enormous long-term work that still must be done. But while charities plan for the long term, there is a massive crisis right now. 1.3 million people are still homeless, and a fifth of them have no shelter. With the rainy season officially starting, already tent cities have been slammed by torrential downpour. Aid workers we spoke to are alarmed. This country still faces a very grave crisis, a very grave humanitarian situation. Of course, it's very worrisome uh, and frustrating also. And there are yet more needs. With the number of amputations performed at 1,500 and rising, there are still only 17 rehabilitation centers, far too few. There has, however, been real progress, with American dollars helping to fund the delivery of food to 4.3 million people. But here's the question we asked. If the charities had spent all the money Americans gave them instead of sitting on so much of it, wouldn't they have been able to house everyone in time for the rainy season? The answer, they say, is that it would have been logistically and physically impossible, Diane. But it's still awful to see the mud in the tents and the misery Absolutely. there. Thank you, Dan.